Every week she's had to make new friends, really belittle people. And that's why she always says that about me. She talks about that I'm rich. I've never told anybody that I was rich. Even the car that I drive, I drive a simple car, guys. I have another car. So it's like after the eviction, Papa Ghost went into a frenzy on Yolanda's case after she exposed him to Umpumi. And that's the part two of the previous video I made. I'm going to get to that. But it seems like he and Z are just ganging up um, on Yolanda. And I really don't understand that. Maybe Z is just joking about it, but it kind of seems serious for Sinai and Z to have that conversation with Liema. And it, it's just crazy. So this morning, we noticed how um, Z was complaining that the team that was supposed to cook and clean were not doing that job well. And that is the team where Sinai and Yolanda is in. Now, according to her, they need plus there was something so there was a talk about some eggs is it that they wanted eggs to be added to their meal and it wasn't or something something of that nature within the cleaning and the cooking and stuff and it pissed z off as he was like you guys are supposed to do it yes this blah 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 and here was yolanda and Sinai saying that all she needed to do was be patient and let them do their job but it seems like it wasn't something that was going to really end anytime soon so we later saw where they were having a conversation with liema explaining what had happened this morning for z to be coming uh for them uh, to be honest let me just be honest it was almost confusing because it just felt like people just being petty towards each other and i'm like for what reason but then for that of Papa Ghost, it was a different ball game. Papa Ghost was literally just bad mouthing and painting Yolanda black in the presence of other housemates. And it's not the first time. These are housemates that obviously do not like Yolanda too. There was Z, there was Young Papi, there was Makeke. As he was telling them how horrible Yolanda is. Yolanda is someone who ends up making or trying to make a friend, a new friend every week because she does not have friends. Because because she's not a good person he went on to say that you know what she calls me uh a bad person who shouts at people who belittles other people and that's exactly what she does she shouts at people and belittles them she even also talks about that i i brag that i, I am rich and stuff and he's like i've never bragged that i'm rich you know it's just the thing she sees with me that she keeps just reacting the way she reacts she has seen me with the um she had seen me with a glasses that she felt was expensive or she noticed was expensive she saw me with a pajama and the way she reacted i just was like you know what this is not the kind of person i would ever want to be in my world in my circle because in my world from where i come from pajamas are normal things i'm like okay you don't need to talk too much about it because it'll soon start coming off as though you're bragging and voila he actually continued which ended up coming off as though he was bragging because he was like you know what um i even though i live behind i live in my mother's backyard or back room or something i have a car in fact i have two cars but i don't brag about it but this girl she's everything she's this she's that i'm like oh my god like what exactly did somebody do to you for you to hate them this much and although yes yolanda on the other hand also talks about you i don't think she expresses this level of dislike and hatred she just doesn't like your gods right and you you come off as though you just don't like her gods but when you talk about how it comes off as though it's hatred and now i understand why he was talking like this because yolanda exposed his dirty linen he and his wife so yolanda exposed papa ghost and lerato to be using people instead of being genuine friends to those people and of course at the end of this uh, particular talk you would see and watch and understand what i mean by that so last night we made a video where we spoke about how yolanda needs to learn to talk in a better way right because i felt the conversation about umpumi was meant to be something that should be private and not in the presence of other people maybe yolanda had her reasons or maybe it's just her natural way but i felt like it really didn't sit well with me but then of course 
in conclusion right because this was supposed to be part two but i got so tired last night just so that people will understand where the source came from earlier yesterday we noticed that um yolanda spoke about uh, somebody smelly and it's it's a smell that is coming from the coochie and that person doesn't wash or bath well and then she was talking to lerato saying you know go and talk to this person you know this person and then of course Lerato said that such kind of people, you only send them home. You don't tell them things. I'm like, what? It turns out this conversation was about Umpumi. For days, this one we've all seen it for days, if not two weeks plus. Papa goes and Lerato have been saying that um, Umpumi is dirty. She doesn't bath. She doesn't bath before she cooks. She doesn't bath before she do this. They said the same thing about Pali. Now, this is something I wish as a girl, as a lady... Lerato will go confront these ladies and tell them that, oh, this is what's up. I think you should take more serious note about your hygiene as a lady because it could affect you on the long run. But it seems like in Pumi's case, maybe she has osmodrosis, if I pronounce it well. Now, one of my uh, fans, one of our community member who always comments in our video, as they stated about, uh, spoke about it in the comment section. She is in the medical field. States when, like when somebody has a chronic body odor it's a mix of everything it takes time to go and then of course that's what um, Mpumi probably has since it's been there from her high school according to Mpumi now Lerato is saying that I was not the first person who spoke about this I actually heard it as a rumor not until on Sunday you were sitting beside me and perceived it then I tried to talk to Lerato to talk to you and Lerato said people like you need to just be sent home right i didn't start it because i know if i came to you i might not have said it in a nicer way and they'll say okay this is bad lerato is this Ler uh, yolanda is this Le yolanda is that but it is heartbreaking that it was papagos and lerato who started this issue when they claim that Pumi is their friend so literally they just use people as pawns just like every other housemate who have seen through their game i've been saying for a while now it is just unbelievable instead of Pumi listening and understanding yolanda after of course yolanda apologized and they hugged it out but Mpumi was saying that it was only Papa Goza that spoke to her. Excuse you. You still went to Mark Jr. to talk to Mark Jr. about it. Making Yolanda still look like the bad person. It just shows that you guys are blind. And maybe at this point, we are just overlooking and overjudging yolanda because girl tried her best she did in the best way she could and i really understand her now i just hope that pumi will from now on take serious her health and her hygiene because this will not be the last of it the world now knows and they could drag you for it anytime any day anyways guys that's all i have for you on this particular video i'll see you in the next one so stick around she is the first person that said you smell you don't bath mm. ghost mm -hmm. ne? Lerato also came about the whole story about you guys not bathing. And so when I told her, she was like, no, people like that, you send them home. Because I know myself, I can go to Pumi and say, Pumi this, and you find that I'm saying it wrong.